The new Kittle update just launched and it is an absolute game changer. In fact, it has been the one update I have been asking for ever since Kittle was released. And this new feature is Kittle Artboards, which allows you to have multiple different designs all within one Kittle file, which you might be thinking, okay, well, Canva already had that. Yes, Canva does have it, but Kittle upped the game and made them even better. And today we're gonna to discuss how to use these, in what cases you're gonna use them for, and why they're even better than Canva. So to show you what I mean, here is Canva. If you have a Canva design and you wanna create a brand new page, you can click add page. You can have as many in here as you want. The problem is they all need to be the exact same size. And if you try to resize this document, it's going to apply to every single page in this document. So so if you want to have two different sizes, they're going to need to be two different Canva files. Versus on Kittle, now if you want to have many different pages all within one file, you can just click the little button up here and you can draw out the size of whatever artboard you want. And then you can also resize it here. So if you need to have a 2000 by height 700, set that. Now you have two different size artboards all within one file. If you want to copy over this exact sizing, just go to the name, which is currently artboard one. And on Mac, if you hit option, you can just drag it over. And now you have two of the exact same size artboards. And if you had a design in here, it's gonna copy over the design as well. And this has many different use cases where this is extremely helpful. So let's go over all of the different use cases that I could think of that makes this far superior. So here is one of my designs. Currently, this is only gonna print well on dark colored t-shirts because if I try to print this on a white shirt, the white text is not gonna show up. So I want to have two different variations of this design. So what I can do is just copy over this artboard and then I'm going to create a version for lighter color shirts. So I'm gonna change all of the text to black. Now I have my design for both light color shirts and dark color shirts. And when I go to save them, I can save either just one of them or I can save both of them at the exact same time. Because this is a PNG, I would just make sure I hit remove background and then I can save these files. Maybe perhaps this design is actually for the back of my t-shirt, but I have a separate front of my t-shirt design. So. I have my front versions here and my back versions, which can all be kept together and the sizing can be dependent on where they're going to go on a product. In just one Kittle file, I could have my two design files, which need to be a bigger size because they're going to be printed. But I can also have my mockups in there, which need to be a smaller size because there is a certain limit to how big your Etsy photo can be. So I can put all of my mockups in here and I can keep my design files and they can have their right different dimensions in them. And if I want to put all of my mock-ups in here, every single time I want to create a new design, I can just copy this board and then delete the design and then redo all my mock-ups, redo my designs all in here to keep them all together all of the time. Another fantastic use case is for your branding or for online image assets that have different sizing. For example, all of your Etsy sizing. If you take a look at your Etsy sizing, you have different sizings for listing images, shop icon, profile photo, your banners, your mini shop banner. And if you scroll down in this page here, we can see, for example, listing images, need to be 2000. We have your shop icon, which is 500 by 500. Profile photo, we have your team logo. Every single thing is a different size. So they can't all be kept in one Canva file, but they can be all kept together in one Kittle file. And there's no limit to how many I can have. So I can grab all of these sizing and bring them over to just keep all of my Etsy assets all together. And which is even better, I can just copy things between artboards. So if I wanna copy this, I can just bring it over. If I wanna drag it from artboard to artboard, I can. If I want to duplicate it, I can just bring things over. So it's extremely easy to create standardized branding between all of your different Etsy elements. If I have one design style, which I'm applying to multiple different niches, I can keep them all together and copy them over super quickly to just edit them to change the niche a little bit. So I would just copy this over. I have a new one and now I can change this 
I can change it up to be the sizing. And now I just have all of my similar designs all grouped together and easy to access. And remember, it's super easy to download them. If I just want the Pickleball Mom right now, I'm just gonna go and save Artboard 3. And you can name them as well by double clicking them if you want to just know what they're called and you want to be a little bit more organized, which I do recommend. You can just rename them so it's super easy to download them based on which thing you're looking for. This was always a thing that I always said I needed needed to make Kittle my primary design platform. So moving forward, I can see me doing a lot more of my designs originating from Kittle now because it also has this new organization, which was absolutely crucial to my workflow. So now my question to you, what's your main design platform? Canva? Kittle? Is it now going to be Kittle? Or what keeps one over the other? Just really interested to hear on your thoughts. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next week.